Magandang hapon, mga kababayan. Joining us today is the Filipino American Chamber of Commerce for Orange County. Kasama natin ang ating board member, uh, si Mari Maria Dumatol. She's here for the first time. Hello, Maria. Hi, thank you for inviting us and myself. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> At kasama rin natin si Rico Bautista, or as his American friends say, Bautista. Bautista. <laughs> Bautista. <laughs> That's right. Or suave. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he is a board member of the Filipino American Chamber of Commerce for Orange County as well. And joining us is a regular of our program. He's been here several times before. See Edwin Baloloy. Uh, he's the Filipino American Chamber of Commerce for Orange County president from 2016 to 2017. Welcome back. Always good to be here. All right. At ang kasama natin din si Neil Estrada. He's the president-elect of the Filipino-American Chamber of Commerce for Orange County for 2016 and 2017. Welcome back, Neil. Thank you. What's up, G? Hey! I'm so glad you guys are here on our show for for our Kababayans that live in the Orange County area, they are missing out if they don't know about the Filipino American Chamber of Commerce for Orange County. Let's talk about the programs you've guys been busy with this year alone. Maria, can you share with us what have you guys been busy with? Well, we have quite a few number of programs every month, and throughout the year we plan it ahead of time. The year before we have a strategic planning session. We pick chairs, and um, for the events this year, we've had events at um, a quite a few number of locations in like Cerritos, such mm -hmm. as Jerry's Grill. Um, we've also had an event at um, Pelican Hill as well, and uh, that's in um, Newport Beach, Newport Coast. And we have quite a few number of also events at Dave and Buster's for um, our members, mixers, where you know they talk about their business, and um, Edwin usually heads that that event. And it's, it's a great event, and people get to network so much. It's so awesome. Yeah. Let, mm -hmm. Let's talk about the importance of networking in our community. Rico, uh, what benefits have you seen since joining uh, the Filipino-American Chamber of Commerce? Well, since joining the Filipino Chamber of Commerce, I mean, we own a small business in Fountain Valley. So it's mm -hmm. my introduction to the Filipino community. And really networking with these guys uh, have brought a lot of uh, different opportunities for us. Yeah. So it's, it's definitely important to network and also get to meet great, great people. Yes, leaders, right? yes, leaders yes, in our yeah. community, exactly. right? And uh, networking is so important because it gives us an opportunity to share with people just like us, Correct. Kababayans, your business. And why not support the businesses of your own Kababayans, right? Mm -hmm. But if they don't know about it, then they can't support it. That's true. Yeah. Right? That's true. Uh, Edwin, uh, let's talk about all these events that you guys are doing. You're constantly putting together events. Uh, this is nonprofit. I meet students that are like, oh, we know you because of Edwin and Neil. So people are, um, people know about the work that you guys do, even on the college level. So you guys are really spanning out. Yes. Uh, generations. Yes, because uh, as a parent, I know that time really flies. It, it like it goes at light speed as soon as you have a kid. Mm -hmm. So uh, Neil and I, a couple of the other board members, got together and we said, uh, not only do we have to get younger uh, within a group because, uh, of course, everyone keeps aging, mm -hmm. <laughs> but we also have to reach out to tomorrow's leaders, and then that's what we plan on doing on a yearly basis, and that's what uh, we were able to do in acknowledging the Philam Scholar of the Year last year, Kevin Casasola, and, and then. The other great kids from USC. Mm -hmm. um, and I just want to mention that this doesn't always happen in our community. Sometimes when there are organizations, it's hard for people to step down. We understand that. <laughs> right, right. But this isn't the case for this organization. <laughs> they are constantly trying to reach out to younger members to learn the ropes and take over. Neil, you guys serve as mentors in the community. Uh, how is that work like for you on a personal level? Well, it's priceless. So first and foremost, I was born in the Philippines and I go back every year, year and a half. And just to get to know where my roots are from and understand how the people are, and then to be able to come back here, know how blessed we are and be able to serve to younger people and inspire other people who may not have our opportunities, it's just, it's so priceless. And uh, just to see the smile on their faces means everything. When you know that you've help the fellow Kababayan mm -hmm. with something that they needed to do. They didn't have the connection. As board members here, that's our duty to help the community and the business. As soon as you do that and they get done what they need to get done, then 
that's all worth it. Yes, all everybody it. wins, right? Yes. Everybody wins. So here on Couple Buying today, they have a, an event that's coming up. We want to share those details with you uh, as we continue our interview with the Filipino American Chamber of Commerce for Orange County when we return on our program. We'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you.